Hey guys, it's Britt. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, <laughs> I just got back from the store. I ran over to Smith's because I'm making, making some white chicken chili soup. Instead of chili, it's going to be more soupy. Um, so I needed like some kale, cilantro, white beans, all that fun stuff. But, um, hold on, this lighting is terrible. So, I look a little ghost face killer because I do have sunscreen on. But, um, yeah, I get all my stuff. I go up and I'm waiting in line. I'm obviously six foot from the person in front of me because we're still social distancing. <laughs> we're still in a pandemic. So, um, the guy in front of me, he's being very boisterous, very loud. And then he turns around and sees me. And all of a sudden he starts whispering to his what I'm guessing is his girlfriend or wife. And then they just kind of start laughing and I'm like, okay, they're making fun of me. What the fuck ever. It is what it is. <laughs> it happens more than once a day. I don't care. But, um, then he gets up and he's next in line to pay for his stuff. And he looks at the guy and he's like, Julio, is that how you say your name? And he's like, Julio. And he's like, Julio, is that Julio? And the guy's like, Julio. And the guy's like, oh, you're a Mexican, huh? I didn't know Mexicans were that tall. <laughs> and then he starts talking about, I just, calling somebody a Mexican just seems so freaking racist, you guys. Like, I felt so bad for this kid. He, and then he starts talking to the guy and you could tell he was uncomfortable because he was just kind of like laughing and I wanted to stand up for him, but I felt so uncomfortable too that I just was kind of quiet because the guy was kind of like talking to me as well and being very weird when he, before he was like <laughs> discriminating against the cashier, he was actually like humping his wife and laughing about it in line. Like it was so uncomfortable. You guys, I'm like, was he freaking drunk? Like, control yourself when you're out in public. It reminded me so much of my very first boyfriend. Uh, it was just so disgusting, you guys. I felt so bad for this checker. And I thought, you know what? I should have stood up for him. I should have stepped out of my comfort zone and said, Sir, the way you're talking to him is inappropriate and can be considered racist. But being trans and having that happen to me, I just kind of like froze up. So I just wanted to say, if you guys see any of that happening, like stop the Asian hate, Black Lives Matter, you know, like don't discriminate, don't be racist, don't be a piece of shit. Um, and if you guys see that, please stand up for the people that you see it happening to. It's so important that we let them know that we have their back and uh, yeah, I just, kind of worked up right now because I just got home and I was like, I got to film a video. I got to get this out there so that you guys can hear my message and hopefully pass on kindness, pass on love. Like we're all equal. Like there's no reason to call somebody a Mexican or I think the correct term is Latin American or maybe it, is it Hispanic? I don't know. I just wouldn't refer to somebody as their freaking race. It just seems so, or ethnicity, I mean. It just seems so inappropriate. Like, and the fact he was like, well, you're short for a Mexican or you're tall for a Mexican. Anyways, I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you guys can defend somebody when you see this happening. I love you guys. Thank you for watching and subscribe to my channel. Leave comments down below. <laughs> Bye.